Princess Kate and Meghan Markle's relationship did not withstand the test of time, despite the pair appearing to get on well when Meghan was first introduced to the family. But one body language expert said there was a particular telling moment that revealed their true feelings towards each other following the rift that has seen the Duke and Duchess of Sussex flee to the US. According to Harry's memoir Spare, Meghan and Kate never actually hit it off, despite the pair being pictured smiling and talking at events in the lead-up to Harry and Meghan's wedding. Public appearances with the pair became rare, but one took everybody by surprise following Queen Elizabeth II's death. Harry and Meghan stepped out alongside their husbands for a walkabout at Windsor Castle to greet mourners. Prince William set for Hero's welcome in New York as he plans to ignore Harry Many hoped this outing could have paved the way for reconciliation but it appears it didn't, and it has even been claimed that Kate found carrying out the joint appearance one of the hardest things she's ever had to do. But during this outing, body language expert Judy James noted one storming gesture by Kate that suggested she was in no mood to make up with sister-in-law Meghan despite the seemingly united front. She told the Mirror, the first sight of the two couples that day was when the car they were all traveling in pulled up outside the gates of Windsor Castle. As the car drove up it was clear the two couples had shared the ride. The right-hand doors opened and Harry got out, followed by William. Despite their differences, the brothers kept close together and even stood together to make their greetings. Don't miss! Roman Kemp's mum's trading with Prince's Kate as George's obsession unveiled, insight, Kate shares insight into George, Charlotte and Louis different temperaments, comment, Prince Harry tells Invictus don't judge people by past pain in closing speech, latest, Kate got out the other side with Meghan behind her. Kate's first gesture of intent came as she stormed around the car to join the brothers without as much as a backward glance at Meghan. She was clearly going to make no attempt to play at small talk or unity. Meghan went to follow at a distance but held back as though unsure whether to join the others or not. While Kate ignored the Sussexes it was William who noticed Meghan and extended an arm to invite her to join them. Meghan hung back in the group and Harry squeezed round behind his brother to get to his wife, who was standing nervously tossing her hair. This last week, Harry and Meghan have been smiles as they joined the crowds to cheer on athletes taking part in the Invictus Games. The event, which is organized by the Invictus Games Foundation and has Harry as a patron, was set up with the aim to inspire international communities through the power of the unconquered human spirit. It is a passion project of Harry's, who sees the Games as an important way to support the well-being of those who have served their country, through a combination of ongoing care, training and employment opportunities, the charity's website states. Harry's appearance at the Games comes after a brief visit to the UK, where he attended the Well Child Awards and visited St George's Chapel in Windsor on the anniversary of the death of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II.